Hey, 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 hey. How are you doing? It's little me over here. I'm so tired today. Oh, Lordy, I haven't came up. Y'all, I'm exhausted. All I want to do is take a nap. Hey, Jonah. Yeah, Ski went, Ski went to jail. Everybody's making such a big deal about it. It's so dumb. It's so dumb that people are making a big deal of it. It is so dumb. I looked and they're like, Ski went to jail, Ski. If y'all look, he went to, well, I'll wait before I even discuss Ski. Everybody's celebrating for a whole bunch of nothing. Whole bunch of nothing. I'll give it more than 50 seconds before I discuss Ski. How are y'all doing? Let me come off cam. I look horrible. I ran errands today. I looked all cute. I ran errands. I looked all cute. And then I came home and it was hot. And I was hot and bothered. So I threw on a t-shirt. I threw on a t-shirt. Yes, he's in jail. It's confirmed. These little haters are celebrating, but they have absolutely nothing to celebrate. I suspect he'll be out by this afternoon, if not by tomorrow. Tara, honey, how are you? My toe hurts. So, I just rebandage it or I'll show you. It's more like just a little bit of like an infection. Like, you know, like when you skin your knee, if you skin your knee really bad and it's got like that, it's like it's not pus, but it's like healing, like that pussy like thing that when you clean it out, you can kind of like knock that. It's like that new skin pus looking thing. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. It sounds kind of gross, but like if you ever skin your knee really bad and you put Neosporin on it and it's like healing, but it's kind of got that like pussy looking thing on top of it. Yeah, my toe is at that healing stage. And so I've been knocking it off. Like when I clean it, kind of like knock that top layer off. It's like, it's not pussy oozy. It's got like that film on it now. And so every time I clean it, I like knock the tip of it off. Yeah, that yellow skin. Yeah, it's got that on it. And so every time I clean it, I like knock that yellow skin off. And it hurts, hey Maria. Hurts like a moo Because I just like put peroxide on it. And then I knock that yellow skin off. And I put some Neosporin on it. It's not feeling very well. It's hurting a little bit. It's funny because I can't imagine. Like I'm complaining about it now because it hurts. But definitely not enough to put me in the hospital and put me on morphine. Right? It's just hurting a little. Oh, today was another productive day. So guys, I'm going to wait like 10 minutes. Go through some photos. Everybody wants to see some receipts. I guess everybody wants to see some receipts. I don't know if y'all can see that because everything's blacked out. Can y'all see that March 1st? Can you see the March 1st? Can you see what that says? Hot wire sales final. Can you see that? Look what I did. Look what I did yesterday. Look what I did yesterday. March 1st. Look what I did yesterday. What I did yesterday. Look what I did. People wanted receipts. Look what I did yesterday. Look what I did. Look what I did. Book my room. You want to see receipts? I booked my room. It's on my Donkey Kong. Just saying. It's my bank account. I had to block everything else out of my bank account. It's pending because it hasn't hit yet. See, pending. It's my bank account. I booked it. I booked my room yesterday. Yeah, May 1st was yesterday. I booked my room yesterday. That's my bank account. Yesterday was May 1st. Today's the 2nd. Yeah, I booked my room yesterday. Everybody's like, you're not going to book your room. I said, well, I was waiting until the 1st. So it said May 1st, and then it showed that transaction. There are other transactions that went through my bank account, but I blocked out my other transactions. You know, all that black is other transactions, and the black on the bottom is other transactions, like my deposit and my balances. Yep. Yep, yep. So there's my receipts. I booked my room yesterday. Hey, pharmacy girl. How are you doing, girly? I did. I booked my room. So people can't say you're a liar. There's my bank account. There's my receipts. But I had to block out, like, my balances and all that and other transactions. Because I don't want you to know other transactions that I've made. You don't need to know about other things I've paid for. Because that's actually none of your business. It has nothing to do with the liquor store. I just don't want you to know our shop. I don't want you to know the Circle K that I go to to get my gas and things like that. But, you know, I just wanted to show you that I booked it. I said I was booking it on May 1st. You see the hot water reservation. Yeah, May 1st. You can't see the transaction, honey. Yeah, it says May 1st. But look above the May 1st. See? Hot wire transaction. Hot wire transaction pending. The amount. I booked my hotel yesterday. <clears throat> so, you know, there's my receipt. Shows I'm kind of not a liar. Uh, 
Oh, I said March. I meant to say May. I'm sorry. <laughs> Guys, I'm tired. I'm so tired. Yesterday and today were like so... I said March. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to say March. I'm sorry. Yesterday and today were completely like brain days. I'm exhausted. I wanted to take a nap. Okay, I corrected and said May. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, today and yesterday were long days. Long days. Um, today I got up at 6.30 and I was going at 8. And I got home about... Mm, got home at like 2.45. About 2.50 I got home. Oh. And I wanted to take a nap, but then I was watching YouTube and I saw that Ski got arrested. So guys... <clears throat> I just got a text from Valley Girl, but I'm live, and so I can't read it. Honey, I'm going to text you in a little bit. Yeah, about checking on the flights. Yeah, I'm going to text you when I get off my live about the flights and about the dates and stuff. Got you, girl, about to check on some flights. I'm going to call you or text you when I get done with my live. Swing, swing, swing. Um, I am so tired. Um, so... Ski Mask Andy. Everybody's celebrating. He got arrested. He got... Well, guess what? He. I looked. And if you know anything about getting arrested, unfortunately, I do because of my kid. He went in front of the judge today. He went in front of the judge today and his two bonds are 500 apiece. So, a bondsman charges about 12% of your bond. So, for about $120, Ski's going to be released on both of his bonds. Because it's $1,000 total for his bonds. It's $1,000 total for his bonds. So for $120 through a bondsman, he's going to be out of jail. So all the celebration that everyone's doing. Hey, Brandy. For all the celebration that everyone's doing, he's going to be out for $120. Don't act like his subs are not going to pay that $120. Don't act like his subs are not going to pay $120 to get Ski out of jail. So y'all can celebrate all the F you want. He's already on a court this morning or at like noon or something. He went in front of the judge. I think it was like 1230. He went in front of the judge already and his bonds were already posted. He's got two bonds for $500 a piece. He doesn't have to post cash bonds. I don't think it says surety bond. I don't know. But I'm sure that somebody will post a $1,000 surety bond. Car title, something, something, something for a thousand bucks. I'm sure that one of his mods will post a thousand dollars to get Ski out of jail. I'm sure they will. But I'm thinking that he can go through a bondsman and he'll be out of jail by today. I'm just saying. <clears throat> so while these idiots are celebrating, saying he's gonna be in jail too, June, I suspect he's gonna be out of jail by the <coughs> I suspect it. I just kind of suspect it. So they can celebrate all they want, whatever. Ski's not going to be in jail for more than a day. He may be up by tonight. He may be streaming by tonight. I just predict it. Because he's got mods that care about him. Just saying, he's got mods that care about him. He's got a lot of financial support. Even though he's pissed off people, he still has people that financially support him. You know, it wouldn't surprise me, and I'm not mentioning any names, but I know this person pretty well. It wouldn't surprise me if she's not posted his bond already. I haven't spoke to her. I just got a text, but it wouldn't surprise me if his bond's not already been posted. Just saying. Just saying. So it's kind of funny that everybody's partying and stuff, and I, it would not surprise me if he doesn't post tonight. Ooh. S-H-O-O-T-E-R opens fire at Fox News 13. What a world we live in. What a world we live in. So, um, hotel has been booked. Hey, Renea, how are you? You're not feeling good today? I am so tired. Yesterday was such a long day, and I said I was going to get some rest, and I wound up not going to bed till 1 o'clock in the morning. Uh, and I had to get up at 6. Well, I got up at 6.30, but I was up before then. I tossed and turned. 
And finally looked at the clock and it was 6.30 and I don't know what is going on with my dogs. At like 4 o'clock in the morning, every day at 4 o'clock in the morning, like Aah! barking at air. I don't, what month are we in? Um, no, coyote season I think starts, the breeding season starts in like August. And we're not there yet. So there's some kind of animal. There's a, like a larger animal that's lurking around my house. I do know that because I know it's not a person. What was he arrested for? He was arrested for like not doing his bond stuff or his probation stuff. And then he got arrested for looting a police officer. So one bond was 500 and the other bond was 500. Because I guess he tried to run from the cops. I don't know. I was kind of trying to follow stuff. But like I said, I got in at like 250. Working, laying on back again. Squat shell. Working, laying on back again. Squat shell. Hmm, I don't know what you're talking about, but that's okay. I don't even know who you are. Um, I think that was probably kind of rude to so mods. Can you just get that person out of here? Because I'm totally not in the mood for it. Yeah. I had two really busy days. I didn't say I was working. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Amber Rain. How you doing, baby? How's everyone doing? Scutch shell. Hmm. Nice try. One that's an I've been word and that's an I've been an insult. My toe hurts! My toe hurts. So, I was gonna cook tonight, but I actually think I'm gonna take a nap. Which is gonna mess up my sleep schedule. I probably will only be on here for like 30 minutes. I just wanted to touch base. Tell you guys that I booked my room. Show you receipts that I booked my room. That is, in fact, my USA bank account. Probably somebody's gonna say I screenshot that, but you know. But I did two things that I really needed to do for a minute, and I did them. I love you too. It's gonna be a very short live. I really wanna take a nap. I had to go back and forth, back and forth. Back and forth, back and forth, like four times to somewhere. Good news, it's finished. I was doing it all day yesterday. All day yesterday, and it's finally finished today. So anyway, how are you guys? What's going on? Um, you're right, Michelle always tells the truth. That's how everybody knows everything about her because I've told it all. You're right. Four subs. Four subs. I don't understand. That Tara, do you have a um Oh, that's not Amber. No, it's a fake Amber. That's not the real Amber, Tara. That's the fake Amber. She makes fun of Amber. Tara, that's fake Amber. That's Amber Rain. She mocks Amber. Silly. That's not the real Amber. No, she's not the Amber channel. She makes fun of Amber. <laughs> no, that's not... Do you really think I would be friendly with Amber if she was in my chat? No, that's the fake Amber. She makes fun. That was Amber's um, escort name, was Amber Rain. It's okay, that was Amber's escort name, was Amber Rain. <laughs> God, I'm slow today and I'm not that slow to have a... But anyway, I just want to log on. Um, see, like, she's all upset. She's like, my man is locked up, y'all. He's making fun. Amber Rain, where's Blade? <laughs> where's Blake? Where's Blake? Who's Blake? <laughs> um, I think... Oh, girl, whatever. You don't do that. Who's Blake? <laughs> exactly, who's Blake? <laughs> <laughs> who's Blake? 
Who's Blake? <laughs> Who's Blake? <laughs> um, I just want to log on, like, address the ski thing. Because everybody's all like, oh, he's got $500. Okay, a Bales bondsman is only going to charge 12% of that. So for 120 bucks, ski's going to be out. Right? Um, I'm going to take a nap until I know that I'm probably not going to cook tonight. You're knitting ski a jersey for when he gets out. <laughs> oh, you have me dying. Oh, you have to be talking. <laughs> Renee, you don't know what she's talking about, but like the older people in here know <laughs> what she's talking about. <laughs> He'll be out tonight. I think he will. He's say he love me. Um, he was arrested because he didn't. Hey, say love me. Um, he was arrested because he didn't do any of the conditions of his probation. So that was a $500 bond. And then he was arrested for eluding the police because I guess he w kept trying to run from them. But from what I understand, they had a cop at the front door, a cop at the back door. I know. <laughs> He's, she's knitting him a sweater. <laughs> oh, I'm dead. <laughs> Yeah, he didn't follow through. So they won't give him bail. No, his bail's been set, Amber. His bail's already been set. He's gone to court already, and his bail's been set, Amber. I'm, I can't believe they did that. But they've done that with my son all the time. My son went to, to like, court, like, for skipping bail, like, five different times, and they put him in drug court, and then they put him in mental court, and, right? I heard it is recorded. I heard it's recorded, but I went live and I didn't catch it. But I heard it's recorded. I'm not. I'm not. Um, I heard it's recorded. I heard he was literally on live and they had a cop at his window. It's on New Jersey Court Channel. Yeah, I, um, yeah, I heard that they had a cop at the window and they were like, the cops were probably listening to him on his live. It's on New, New, New Jersey Court Channel. Yeah, I heard he was literally. Yeah, good thing he's raised his bail five times. Exactly. He's raised his bail like five times. All you can really hear is banging on the door, though. Okay, I didn't hear it, but um, I heard that you can hear banging, Sheriff's Department. But I know that they had a cop at the window because he was jumping out of the window to escape them every time they came for him. So I heard they had a cop at the window, a cop at the front door, a cop at the back door, and cops on the side of the house. That's all I know. That's all I heard. Like I said, I've been busy all day. I came in at like 2.50. When I finally finished my errands, I heard about it, and I'm like, ah, I gotta be live at 3.20. I've been thinking about back in my life, but it's not worth it. I was like, I can catch a replay. They've come in the past, he told me, and he would get his step stool and John, right, I heard he rolled out of the window of his step stool. <laughs> God, Amber, you are on top of it. You are on top of it. His step stool would jump out of the window. Amber, you are full of fun. You are full of funnies today. <laughs> and get his step stool to climb out of the window. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna use your LLC to get him out, girl. You are, <laughs> you are on top of it today. <laughs> oh, oh God! <laughs> You're gonna use your LLC to get him out. <laughs> 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 I'm about to cry. Oh, I can't <laughs> From the sweater knitting. <laughs> to the step stool.
to the LLC. <laughs> They're not going to revoke him. They've already set a bond on him. <laughs> His electronic wife ordered the step stool from him. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't forget, I'm the number one wife, though, right? <laughs> even if I have haters in this chat, even if I have haters in this chat, they are laughing so hard they can't even hate on me, right? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Don't you dare cry, Michelle. <laughs> I'm crying. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> no, I looked smoke pot and almost like two months. I'm laughing like I'm stoned my ribs out. <sighs> I can't breathe. <laughs> Oh, 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 man, what a fun life today. <laughs> um, he might get 90 days. That ring comes close to home. That ring's close to home for me. <laughs> I don't know if anybody else gets that. <laughs> oh, God, you're on fire today. I don't know if anybody else gets that. If you don't, Amber came from the 90 day community, right? Oh, God. Oh, God. I need your phone number to call you when I'm upset. If y'all don't know, Amber came from the 90 day community. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you were just pulling jokes today. <laughs> oh, my side hurts. Oh, my side. <laughs> At least if somebody, they're going to say I'm drunk or I'm high or something. But I tell you what, if somebody streams me today, I guarantee you that our whole life is going to be cracking up laughing, Amber Reed. You win the internet today. <laughs> Amber Reed, you win the internet today. You win the internet today. So if anybody streams me, you win the internet today. <laughs> Finger my bitch doing 80 to get back home. <laughs> uh -huh. You win the internet today. <laughs> you win the internet today. <laughs> you win the internet today. <laughs> mm -hmm. I gotta catch my breath before you come out with another one. Because <laughs> I can't breathe right now. <laughs> oh, it's gross. I coughed in my hand. I need to go wash them because somebody thinks I'm disgusting if I cough and I don't wash my hands. <laughs> Cover my mouth so I don't spit everywhere. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. So how's everybody else doing today? We know how Amber's doing. I know Amber's going with the comedy. Coming with the comedy, girl. <laughs> Love you, girl. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> no, I'm going to tell. Everybody do the wave. <laughs> Good Lord. Good Lord. I had such a good day. I had such a good day. And now I'm just laughing. So my neck hurts so bad. I think I showed pictures. I don't think we got to those pictures. Yes. Ah! Bola just licked my toe. 
Hey haters in the bushes. So, I have a picture that I did not show yesterday as a receipt. Everybody wonders why I keep doing this with my neck. So, I'm going to show you a vehicle accident that I got in. Trigger warning. Trigger warning. Trigger warning. Can you see that? Can you see that vehicle? I was driving that. I was dead sober. Can you see? Here's another angle. Trigger warning. I lived. Trigger warning. was driving yeah I rolled like seven to ten times they really don't know how many times I rolled right yeah so and I tried to explain this to you because it's always hard to see another phone so here's my neck here's my neck right here right here I don't know if you can see these pins in my neck See, there's disc all the way around, but you see the pins in my neck right there? Those pins, they're not disc. Right, they cut me here and they put a cage. They put a cage because I had a spinal cord compression. If you want to know what a spinal cord compression is, see my spinal cord down here, down here where it's pinched. It doesn't make a straight line. You see this disc right here and it's pinched. Do you see that? So, Right there, where they put those pins, they had to take two discs out. Because I had a cord compression so bad, I had no use of my left arm at all. I couldn't move my arm at all. I had no use of it. I could move it, but I had no strength in it at all. So what they did, is they went in, they went in and they removed disc from here, and they put a metal cage. They put a metal cage right here. They took the disc out. It's called the disectomy. So they put a metal cage right here. Like there's a there's a cage in my neck right here. They took the disc out. Okay. Now that's at C3 and 4. Now this is C6 and 7. And I still have a cord compression. So if you look, my spinal cord is still compressed. See, it's not straight. See the pinch in my spinal cord? See the pinch? These are my MRIs. Okay? So when you see me do this, it's because my head sometimes feels too, like, it feels too heavy for my neck. I was talking to Lisa about the car wreck, and I was showing her, and I showed her some pictures. And so she was like, why don't you explain that to people? So when you call me bobblehead, right, it's sometimes at six and seven, it hurts. And sometimes the hardware in my neck, it hurts. And so I pop my neck all the time. So maybe you'll understand why I do that. I don't know. Should I share the pictures again? Let's share the pictures of my blazer. Just so you understand, I rolled between 7 and 10 times. And I'll show you what stopped me. I hit a tree. I hit a huge, huge tree. So if you look, trigger warning, if you've ever been in a bad accident or if you've lost anybody in a car. You see under the driver's door, that big indentation under the door? See that big indentation? I finally rolled into a tree, and that's what stopped me from rolling. That big indentation under the door. Now that little beady piece, that's where I was sitting. That's where I was sitting. I was running late. My ex-husband, Jim, hence the Williams, do not try to find him. I don't even know if he's alive yet. He is dying of brain cancer and he's very, very sick. Um, I was running late and we were going to Leedsville for the weekend and I was packing stuff at the house in Diamond Head. And he took 
Joseph and Timmy and Taylor and his two children. He took them to Leakesville because I was running late. I'm like, I'm running late. I'll be right behind. It was a two-way highway. It was at night. A delivery driver was trying to pass another car because they were going too slow. The person was never caught. All we saw was the delivery driver sign. I didn't see anything. I just saw headlights. But the people that were behind him saw a delivery driver sign and they could not make it out. But he was trying to pass a car into a hill. And I was driving at night up to Leakesville by myself. Thank God I was by myself. Thank God. That blazer was my grandfather's blazer who raised me. I'm born on his birthday and I was named after him. His name, he's Greek. His name is Mikel, but it's M-I-C-H-E-L. So I was named Michelle. When he got cancer and he could no longer drive, they dropped the car insurance on his blazer and they gave it to me because I had Timmy and Joseph and Taylor and I had a two-door car, so they gave me the blazer because it was full door. Jonathan had already passed away. I hated God. I hated God because Jonathan died. Why, God, did you take my son? I was nursing. We had a beautiful home. I did nothing wrong. Why did you not take a crack baby? Why did you not take a baby that was mistreated, that was being beaten up? Why did you take my infant child? I hate you, God. I hate you. We had an understanding. You leave me alone and I will leave you alone. I hated him for taking my child. But I tell you what, let's look at that picture again. My grandfather had passed. He was in heaven. Let's look at the picture of this blazer again. Oh, by the way, that's a picture of me and my grandfather. It's a picture of us at the casino for New Year's. Jonathan was... Jonathan was born November 17th, and so I had just had Jonathan. Look at this vehicle. It was completely smashed in. Smashed in. Completely smashed in. Completely crushed. completely crushed. The passenger side window is how I crawled out of it because I landed driver side down and I was passenger side up and I crawled out of that window to get out of the blazer. There's a passenger window. I crawled out of that window to get out of the truck. There is no reason why I should be alive. The only part of that truck that was not crushed in was right where I was sitting. My daughter had a booster seat. My daughter had a car seat. The car seat was in the back of the hatch of the blazer. Timmy's booster seat was cracked in half. I walked away. I ripped my shorts climbing out of the side of the blazer out of the window and I had a scrape on my arm and I walked away. I walked away. I did not know that I had compression fractures in my neck. I literally walked away. I climbed up the hill. I rode, I rolled down and there were people thinking I was dead and all of a sudden here comes Michelle climbing up a hill. I went to the ER. They looked at everything. They x-rayed me. I was fine. About a week later, I went to my GP and I said, Dr. Roberts, something's not right. My arm is messed up. My arm is completely messed up. He's like, Michelle, let's go do an MRI on you. I drove to slide out. They did an MRI on, on my, they did an MRI on my neck. I had went to lunch with a girlfriend in slide out. I was on my way back to Diamond Head. He said, I need you in my office right now, immediately. And I'm like, what's wrong? He's like, I need you to come to my office right now, immediately. And I was like, okay. And he's like, um, you have two honey, you have four herniated discs in your neck and you have a serious cord compression. And I went there and they put me in a halo. Y'all, if I would have like slipped, if I would have done anything, I would have been paralyzed. And I was like that for like two or three weeks after I had my wreck. So if you wonder why I bobble my neck and I do this, it's because I have a disectomy. 
right? I've got hardware in my neck and I also have a spinal cord, still a pinch in my spinal cord. So when I do this, it's because my neck hurts. So maybe that will explain my bobblehead to you guys. So maybe you'll get off my ass. No, I didn't pull these pictures off the internet. They came off my Facebook page. Just so you know, maybe you'll get off my ass about my neck. I've got a scar right here, but you can't see it because when they do the surgery, they do it actually in the fold of your neck. So you don't have this big scar. Why did they go through your neck? Let's show you the picture again. They go through your neck to remove the disc. And <laughs> they go through your neck to remove the disc because they can't go there. They can't go through the back of your neck because of your spinal cord. See where the discs are? They have to go through your neck because they cannot cut through your spinal cord. That's why they go through your neck to do the disc. Just so you know. So that's why I do this with my head all the time. All the time. Because I have pain probably most of the time. But I don't take pain pills. And I don't go to a pain management clinic. So I just deal with the pain. Yeah. I can bobble my head all I want. But there you go. There's a story behind it. Lisa and I were talking about it on the phone the other night. She's like, you really need to explain to people why you do that with your head. So there's your explanation. Call me bobblehead all you want. I have a lot of pain in my neck most of the time. You had to have spinal reconstructive surgery, glitter pixie. Yeah, that, that sucks. I'm supposed to have another surgery to get this one fixed. I have problems opening jars. My stroke made it worse. But the only thing I can't do is open jars. And my stroke made my fine motor skills suck. So, like, I have problems with my hands doing things. But that's the only thing that will help getting the other surgery done. And I'm going to tell you, this is the most painful surgery I've ever had. I literally wanted to take my life. It hurt so bad. I've never been in that much pain in my entire life. Ever ever been in that much pain. I would have given birth to 30 babies without an epidural, without a pain med, without a Tylenol, back to back to back to back, 30 babies natural. I've never been in that much pain in my entire life. So do I want to get this done? No, 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 no. I can handle the pain that I go through and I can stretch my neck out and I can do this, right? And do neck exercises all I want. I'm not going through that surgery. It's not that I don't have insurance, it's that I cannot go through the post-op. Can I do it? Cannot do it. Shoot me first. If it ever gets too bad to where I cannot take the pain, I will do it. But at this point in my life, I will just stretch my neck. I will move it around and I will stretch it. And I'm good because when I stretch it, I stretch a little bit and then I'm fine. So there's my bobblehead story. There's your receipts. Anyway. I said I was not going to stay on for long. Yes. There's, it makes no sense that I survived. Because when I didn't even know what my truck looked like. I didn't even know what it looked like. We went to the ER and I was like, where's my blazer at? Like, where's, where's my blazer? So we had to call the state troopers and they told us where my blazer was. So we went to this junkyard. And I, it was my grandpa's blazer and I wanted to get it fixed, y'all. I was like, well, can a body shop fix it? Because it was my grandpa's and it meant so much to me. And the guy was like, ma'am, you need to junk it. And in the back of the picture, you can see I had a brand new expedition after that, that we drove out to get, right? But um, when I went out there to look at the car, the guy was very somber that owned the junk company, the record company. And he was like, how many people were in that vehicle? And I was like, one. And he's like, my condolences to you. I was like, I was driving the car. This was the very next morning. I was like, I was driving the car. And he was like, and he was absolutely shocked. He was absolutely shocked, absolutely shocked. And he was like, there's nothing wrong with you. Well, so I had a rip. <laughs> I didn't realize that the back, the whole back of my shorts were ripped from climbing out of the blazer. I guess like it ripped the whole, but out of my shorts 
Um, I wasn't in the hospital at all. They brought me to the ER. They gave me a clean bill of health. I had a scrape on my arm and I ripped the ass out of my shorts. I just went to the ER. They checked me and they released me. And then when I had my neck surgery, it was outpatient. I didn't know I was hurt. And, ah, sorry, guys. I have a tank top on and it's itching me. Um, I didn't even know I was hurt until a couple weeks later with the neck. My arm just was numb. I thought it was hurt because, I mean, we went to... Um, we actually took a trip, Jim and I, to uh, Negril, Jamaica, like a week and a half, like a week later, a week and a half later. We went to Negril, Jamaica, like a week and a half later, and I was hurting. Um, I was hurting, and I was on soma and um, pain pills because I just got in a wreck, and I didn't feel shit. And when we got back from the grill, I'm like, man, my arm is still not coming back. And that's when I went to go see my doctor. I wasn't, I just went to the ER for a checkup. Like, I was fine. Like, I left the ER, I was fine. And Jesse, Jim's son, was probably like eight or nine. He's like, Dad, look at Michelle's butt. I didn't even know I had my butt was ripped out of my shorts. And so we really, we literally stole. I guess we didn't steal it because you know what the ER charges you. We stole, um, yeah, my neck surgery was outpatient. Outpatient. Mm -hmm. They did a disectomy. They did it in the morning, and I was home in the afternoon. I did not even stay, didn't even stay in the hospital. Outpatient. Outpatient was not even overnight. It's crazy how medicine has, like, become so, like, I guess, advanced. No, I didn't even, I don't. No, I did not. I'm thinking about it. No, I don't. I did not stay at. Yeah, I didn't even know. It was outpatient. I didn't even stay in the hospital overnight. Well, they tried to keep me overnight. I will tell you that they tried to keep me overnight, and I hate hospitals. And the doctor told me if I pissed, if I peed, he would release me. So they tried to keep me overnight, and I did not want to stay overnight because Taylor was so young. And Bruce was in Hattiesburg at the time. So he was like 45 minutes away working. And and Jim and I were married and we were at the house in Diamond Head and I did not want to leave Taylor. And so he promised me as long as I got up and peed, he would release me. And I made a big stink. Imagine me making a big stink in a hospital. Imagine that. So around seven, eight o'clock, I got up and I peed. And they're like, no, you're staying overnight. And I'm like, no, 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 no. My doctor said, if I got up and peed, you were gonna release me. You're gonna release me now. So they wanted to keep me overnight, and I was like, no, no, no. You said as long as I peed, I was going home, and they were like, your doctor's not on call, and I'm like, fucking call him. Call him, because he promised me as long as I peed, I could go home. So they discharged me around 8, 9 o'clock that night. No, I wasn't running on adrenaline or survival mode. I wasn't hurt. I wasn't hurt at all. I mean, I was sore because I got in a wreck, but I didn't even feel like I was flipping. I, I just... Like, it felt like I was bouncing on springs. I didn't even realize I was flipping in my car. It happened so fast, it just felt like I was on springs and I was just bouncing, 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 bouncing. I didn't even realize I had flipped. I didn't even realize I had flipped. But they, they were gonna keep me overnight for my neck surgery, but they released me at like 8, 30, 9 o'clock that night. They did my surgery at probably like eight in the morning and they re released me 12 hours later. What, that's what happened with your husband's two brain stent surgeries. He hates hospitals and threw a fit and they let him go. Right. And he was fine. I, they promised me as long as I got up and I peed that they were going to release me. And I was like, I peed. Okay, discharge me. And they're like, well, your doctor's not on call. We'll discharge you in the morning. I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to stay here. I want to go home. My kids are home. I want to go home. My kids are home. Release me. And they were like, well, your doctor's not on call. I'm like, well, you best call him. You best get him on the phone because he promised me and I'm leaving. I'm going to AMA if you do not release me. And they called him because I made a big enough stink and he said discharge her. And so I went home that night. So I guess he would have kept me overnight, but I made a big stink. And I was like, uh-uh, you promised. You promised. I have got up. I have urinated. It's time to go home. But your husband threw a fit with his two brain stent surgeries. <laughs> yeah, I did not want to stay in the hospital. At that time, I was like, uh-uh. I want to go home. I want to lay in my bed.
you had the surgery and you can't bend your neck. Yeah, so I got, I had a really good surgeon and I've only lost, like I can turn it this way and I can turn, I've lost like, I don't know, two or 4%. Like I can turn it all the way this way, this way is as much as I can turn it. So I can't hold a cordless phone with my head. Like I can't hold a cordless phone with this head, but I can do it with this one. But I haven't lost much mobility at all. Yeah, I got really lucky. I shouldn't be alive. And I just did that and I got a headache. So yeah, I, I stretch it a lot more this way than this way. But anyway, I said I wasn't gonna stay on long. I've been on 47 minutes. Wanna discuss skis arrest. Um, I got a lot accomplished today and yesterday. A lot of things I needed accomplished. And um, I booked my flight yesterday. Yes, you were in shock, so your body rejected in leaving the wreck a few weeks later. Yeah, that might have been what it was. But I had plans. I mean, we went to, we flew to Negril, Jamaica. They told my husband that his pain was manageable without IV. Right. I didn't have IV pain meds. They didn't give me IV pain meds. I don't remember if they even ever gave me IV pain meds, honey. I don't think they ever gave me IV pain meds. Maybe they did, maybe they don't. I mean, it was so long ago. It was like, <laughs> I wanna say in 2007 or like nine or something. So, I mean, I don't even remember that far back if they gave me IV pain meds. I don't remember. I don't remember. But I know that I probably should have spent the night in the hospital and got IV pain meds because I was hurting like a mofo for weeks. For a good three weeks, I was in so much pain. I should have stayed in the hospital for like two weeks. Don't need meds after the operation, the pain. No, the pain did not go away immediately. Oh my God, no, it did not. I got feeling back in my arm, but I was in so much pain after the, after the surgery for three weeks. I was begging my ex. I was like, remember we made a pact that if one of us were in so much pain that would take each other's lives, please take my life. Please take my life. Please take my life. I mean, he removed firearms from the house because it was that bad. I was in that much pain. I was begging him to take my life. I was begging him to take my life. I was in that much pain. I mean, three weeks post-op, I thought I was going to die. I wanted him, I begged him to take my life and I meant it. Like, I sincerely meant it. I was like, remember, we made a pact that if one of us was in so much pain, Yeah, I'm gonna go watch New Jersey's court after this, but, um, honey, as soon as I log off, I don't know if I have your number saved in my phone. As soon as I log off, can you give me a call, because it's really important, it's about, about flights and stuff. Um, and I'm logging off, like, now, in 3, 2, 1. So, everyone, I had a very productive day, yesterday was very productive, um, I'm tired, my neck hurts, I'm actually about to take some Tylenol for my neck. Um, so can you call me as soon as I log off? Um, give me like three minutes because I have to private my video. Um, anyway, so if nobody's told you they love you today, let me be the first. I absolutely, yeah, he really got arrested. Yeah, I knew his address anyway. So anyway, if nobody's told you they love you today, let me be the first. I absolutely love you. Um, guys, you have a purpose. Lisa, in particular. Everyone, you are stronger than you know it, okay? 100%, you are stronger than you know. I love you guys. Peace out. I may be on later tonight. I don't know. I'm going to take a nap. Maybe for an hour or two. I may be on around 8 or 9. I may not. If my channel gets killed, I'll be on Facebook cooking tomorrow night, probably around 7. And I'll have another channel up by tomorrow night. I love you guys. I love you very much. Take care. Take care, everyone. Peace out. Have a great day.